Hello friends and fellow sunflowers, my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to Enhypen's Tamed Dash music video. Tamed Dashed. I'm really excited for this one. Um, it looks like, from the teasers, it looked like they were in like a school which was called Desilis, Desilis School? Or Academy, sorry, Desilis Academy. Um, and then this looks like the outfit that they wore kind of in Give and Taken era that was hinted at in the Drunk Day, Drunk? Oh my lord, I'm not drunk. It's just morning. Drunk dazed music video. <laughs> so I'm wondering if it'll tie into that or if we'll have like different timelines. I kind of feel like there's two to three different like dimensions maybe, timelines. Hopefully we'll get some answers regarding that because that's literally the name of the album, <laughs> Dimension. Um, I also see in the description that it says Dark Moon with Enhypen, which means that it's part of their storyline. So that's very exciting. I don't really have like a ton of predictions for it. Um, I'm, I'm, I have some hopes and like things that I hope they will answer. We'll see. Um, mainly it's like, will the werewolves come back? And if so, what is their role in this? I'm hoping they will answer a little bit more about how the dimension thing works and hopefully more about like how they became vampires or what them being vampires actually means. Hoping at least one of those will be answered. If not all three, that would be amazing. I doubt it though, let's be honest. I also assume there's gonna be another music video for a B-side later, so. Let's see if this doesn't open up more questions or not. So uh, let's go. We've got Nikki here with the ball, like um football kind of thing. Kind of looked like he was trying to like, like summon it, you know. So I feel like this is about the ball, somehow. Oh, oh, there's a clock in the about twelve thirty-five. The about twelve thirty-five. Okay, so it's like lunch hour, I guess, for them. They're on lunch break. That makes sense. Oh, welcome to twenty-first night night ball. 20, the 21st night ball, night ball, is that a thing? Is that like an, a fictional, like, is that like football, but like they play it at nighttime because they're vampires? <laughs> so they're clearly on this night ball team together. Maybe they're competing. I like those na na na's. Na na na. Oh, I have not been reading the lyrics at all. We'll look at it the second time. Ooh! Wait, did you see the levels in that choreography? Wait, let's go back. Wow! Burning thirst can't stop me like summer. Summer? This was delayed slightly, so I guess maybe it was supposed to come out at the end of summer. Oh, this is a cool dance! Compass can't wait, hold on. Those lyrics. My compass, please don't leave me now. Interesting. And they have like the scenes where they're like in the forest, which almost looks like it's a different dimension or timeline. <laughs> wait. <laughs> he's just stopped it. Hello? Okay, wait, he sung did that. He sings like I have the power. So maybe that's what um Nikki was trying to do earlier. <gasps> Wait, hello? God, there's so much stuff happening! Okay, so Jay threw it. Threw it really well. That was a good throw. <laughs> okay, so Sunu. Sunu is like... They're, they're start, sort of stopping him. Oh, okay. So he's burning because it's sunlight. <laughs> and then they're like outside. This must be some sort of either memory or dimension another dimension like with the island because like oh i'm addicted to this hazy dream okay kind of like the dream is the island makes sense and they're playing in the sunlight and what is this what is this this reminds me of the room in um choose chosen the one that was the um the one that jay was sitting in uh it's not the same but it kind of reminds me of that and like how everything's boarded up reminds me of like 
in the Japanese um, Give and Taken music video. Sunu, Sunu is like alone by himself there. And he's looking at his arm. I guess it's healed. Oh, that choreography is so good! I love how sharp it is. Oh, I love it. Na na na. I love the na na na's! So is the sun the compass? The scorching sun their compass? Which makes sense because the red light and the sun is kind of like tied to the, the moonlight as well because the moonlight reflects the sunlight. So it's kind of the same thing. Um, so it's like, it leads them places, you know, like, um, like let me in. It like leads them, the red, the red light leads them to where they inevitably escape. Exhausting, agonizing thoughts between the horns. Okay, this is like a juxtaposition between um, Sunu and Nikki. And they have the umbrellas, which we saw again in the Japanese Give and Take In. Just keep running. Trapped by the same choices. So this is about their dilemma. They look like worse for wear. Like, <laughs> like Hee-sung has like little holes, Nikki's got holes. Everyone's dirty. He's got like a rip in his arm. I guess because they've been running around playing and possibly living in the forest. I c is this the same outfit as... Yeah, I think it was the same um, as before because this kind of looks like they're given taken outfits. It looks like it, I'm pretty sure Nikki was sitting in that outfit in the beginning. Oh, so cute. This makes me want to play in the ocean. But the ocean here sucks, so <laughs> it's not good for swimming in. It's also like October. Okay, so they're playing in the field. It, this looks like the same timeline dimension is given taken again. Except I don't know what this rugby outfit is. J, wait, hold on. So J is 99. Why is like ugh, I still don't understand the numbers? Like uh, this is J. I'm pretty sure that looks like his haircut. Uh, he's a 99. I just want to know like. He sings number one and J is number 99. Like, one to 99, like a complete opposite. <laughs> Does that factor into their um, fighting? Also, this makes me think of fever. Does it not make you think of fever when they're like lying in the pool? Okay, sorry. Oh my god. It's like clearly centered around that ball. I guess the ball represents their, uh, like, p practicing their abilities, maybe. I kind of am getting the impression that, like, maybe Nikki's not so good at it at this point. We do know that he's probably pretty powerful, and you know how he was, like, chained up in, um, Give and Take In? Maybe it was because he couldn't control his powers very well. Um, like, if he's not able to, like, summon the ball to him, because he's, even here, he just picked it up, like, with his hands. Which might be why it was juxtaposed earlier with Sunu because Sunu looks like he's got it all together, in my opinion. But we do know that like there is some weird something going on between like Nikki versus Sunu, and I feel like we've gotten that here too. So that's really interesting. He just kind of walks off by himself, like he was sitting alone there practicing by himself. You know, let's watch it one more time. Why is he holding a stick here? He's like got a stick in the ground. Is that important? Is that like grounding him? Running up right now, hashtag dilemma. Keep it going, keep it going. Dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. I can't meet. Okay, let's look at the lyrics a little bit. Should I be tamed? Flash of desire enchanting me. It's like they're like taming their desire, like keeping it down. Twisted and tangled sounds like Scylla. Dilemma of choice within dimensions. Within dimensions. I'm having trouble wrapping my head around how exactly that makes sense. A dilemma of choice within dimensions, within a certain set of dimensions. Because dilemma of choice, like make questioning of which choice you should make, but within dimensions. What? Taking a step makes me afraid. Interesting that that's Nikki that says that. To be or not, I assume that's like, re re like talking about the vampire decision, to be a vampire, to not be a vampire. And I'm guessing like this whole thing is like their like night ball. Cause like, I, there's like, even here there's like night ball. Like, it's, it's advertised everywhere, so this game they're playing is some probably something specific to vampires, and it's called Nightfall for some reason. Searing Heart, Take Me Now. Again, their heart, like, Chamber 5, um, and if you remember, the heart was locked up in Fever, um, and it's, like, kind of related to their thirst as vampires, possibly. Going off of these lyrics, I'll have to think about that. Na, na, na. So, I think what they're doing again is they're doing, like, the two different, um, 
parts of the title, Tamed and Dashed, are showing two different music videos. So Tamed Dash is the music video about being tamed and taming things, like honing their abilities, I'm guessing through Nightball. And then Dashed will be whatever the second music video is. I actually haven't listened to the album yet at this point in time that I'm filming. Probably by the time this is up, I'll have listened to it and like looked at the lyrics or whatever, and that'll all be on my Twitter if I decide to tweet about it or something. But yeah, I'm guessing like that's kind of where they're going again. I'm trying to figure out like why they're in the forest and looking so like decrepit. I feel like there's different varieties, varieties, versions of them where it's like the first ones were in the school, um, like they were in an original version of what this school now is in the modern times, um, like Give and Taken. You know how they were in like that weird like with the people testing on them kind of? Like they were the first. That's what I'm getting, guessing. And then it, this is kind of showing that and then now there's also the modern day like how we saw in Drunk Dazed and here as well where it's more modern day and like now this is what the school looks like i don't understand how that ties into what their dilemma is i'll have to think about it too <laughs> there's a lot of things i have to think about for a little while let it absorb they're wearing like leather pants and singing about some summer and i like can't imagine wearing leather pants during summer it would be so hot oh they look like they're having so much fun Okay, so Sunu has come out on his own after, like, burning, and then we also see that Nikki is, like, excluding himself. He's not playing along with the others. I like this. I, I like how it's focusing on what's happening between Nikki and Sunu. Nikki's got his arm around Sungun. Um, hello. That makes me think so much about him hypnotizing Sungun in fever. So I'm wondering if that's already happened, or if this is like the build-up to when- before he like does it. You know what I mean? Cause I assumed Fever was about them turning into vampires, and then here they are, I think, vampires, cause they have the ability, they're demonstrating some form of supernatural ability. So is Sungun already being compelled by Nikki here? And if so, how come Nikki can't seem to like control his powers and yet he seems to be able to have some form of some form of control like hypnotization over Sungun. Like he's literally got his hand around Sungun right here. Like hello? Okay, this is fine. Everything's fine. They're like reaching up towards the sun. They're not being burned here. Is it like is there like a particular threshold where they they become burned after being out in the sun a certain amount of time? Like they can come out sometimes or they can get a beam of light here and there, but they're not going to burn. You know what I mean? Also, this looks like they're like, okay, I don't know anything about football, but like this move in the choreography kind of looks like they're like waiting to like, I don't know, like uh, waiting to like get the ball passed to them. You know how they're in like a formation and the, I don't know anything about football. <sighs> and then the numbers on the backs, I don't know. Fever, again, clearly this ties into fever. Also this part here, like we've got, um, Nikki running up and he grabs Jake's shoulder here. Very interesting that he grabs Jake. Take a look here at Drunk Dazed. We've got Nikki and then he's facing none other than Jake. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I feel like there's some sort of dynamic here that's being addressed that I'm not completely understanding right now. There's still friends there and maybe that's not the dimension where that happens but also, I have to say, like, he looks right at us, like, he addresses us here, which I don't think they really are doing elsewhere in these particular shots. Like, he's almost breaking the fourth wall looking at us. Wow, I have a lot to think about with this music video. Hopefully I was able to, like, bring attention to, like, how some of the shots match up with what we've already seen. Because I do think it, like, ties in really well, and I bet you there's a lot of hints in here for other things, either in the choreography or, like, things that we haven't seen yet that they're referencing that we'll, like, notice later. I'm gonna think about it some, some bit. What? You think? <laughs> I'm gonna think about it for a bit. <laughs> and, uh, maybe we'll do a video on it or something. Lots of stuff to look at in this video, and yet, like, it feels like <laughs> they've only given us a little bit. They're training. They're honing their powers. I did sort of get, a, I guess, an answer to my vampire question, sort of. I, I don't know how they became 
vampires. Like, there's not more on the lore of that. But we did see a little bit more about what they can do as vampires. So I guess I got one thing kind of answered. Don't know about the werewolves, though. Don't really know about the dimensions still, though. <laughs> Anyways, if you liked this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe with notifications turned on so that YouTube tells you every single time that I post a video. All of my social media is linked in the description. And of course, I want to give a shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for your support. As it is, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and stay sunny, my friends. Bye!